This is the Wise Video Doorbell Pro. What Pro features does it have to have this name? Let's find out. Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today we are going to review and test out the Wise Video Doorbell Pro. I'm a bit late on this and I pre-ordered this when Wise initially released it. But when my pre-order came in, I wasn't able to set up and connect the doorbell. Now, the, how the doorbell works is that it needs and uses the included chime, which acts as a hub to connect your doorbell to your Wi-Fi. The chime is also the first thing you need to set up before the doorbell. With my pre-order, the chime doesn't go past the reset successful step. To make the story short, it didn't work. I emailed my contact person at WISE, which eventually they sent me a replacement unit. Today, we will check out its features, do the unboxing, set it up, do the install, and check out its video and audio quality, plus run our usual battery of tests and see if this pro version of the Wise doorbell is a good option for your front door. Before we dive in, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. I appreciate it and thank you. Let's check out its features. This is battery powered and Wise states that it can last up to 6 months before needing to be recharged. Battery specs, it uses two 3250 mAh rechargeable batteries that is built in on the doorbell and it is not removable. You can also wire this into your existing doorbell wires and depending on your use, you might not need to recharge it anymore. Also wiring this in will give you a pre-recording which the doorbell will start to record 3 to 6 seconds before motion has been detected. This doorbell records in 1 by 1 aspect ratio, head to toe ultra wide viewing with a 150 degree field of view, horizontal and vertical, which you will see everything in your front door. And talking about this, this field of view is way better than the original video doorbell, which only has a 120 vertical and a narrow 88 degree horizontal, which was my main complaint on that doorbell. And if you haven't seen my review video on that one yet, I will link it down below. This Pro doorbell also records in 1440 by 1440 pixel resolution and in testing records at 15 frames per second in daytime and 10 FPS at night. It has the chime included and does come with 20 tunes to choose from. It is dual Wi-Fi and can connect to both 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi. It is IP65 weather resistant. It also doesn't have a micro SD card option and if you want the full features of this video doorbell then you need to subscribe to Weiss's Cam Plus subscription for person detection, full length motion recording and with no cool off, vehicle, pet and package detection. Subscription starts at $1.99 per camera per month or $1.25 per month when billed yearly. Time to open up the box. We have the iBack Device Video Doorbell Pro sticker, a quick start guide, we have the plug-in chime which has the reset button on one side. We then have the doorbell itself and we have the light sensor, camera lens, infrared LEDs around and we have the PIR motion sensor and a small hole here for the mic and we have the doorbell button. On the bottom, we have the speaker and have a small torque security screw to secure this in place. On the back is the screwless mounting plate already installed. And if you push up the doorbell from the plate, it will come off. On the back of the doorbell, we have the terminal screws to screw this into your existing doorbell wires if you want. We have a rubber flap that covers the micro USB port to charge the doorbell. And we have the power button. What else is inside the box? We have an accessory box and we have the double-sided mounting tape for the stick-on wall mount. We then have another wall plate if you want to screw this in. We have an angle mount if needed. Then we have a Torx driver, extension wires, wire nuts, mounting screws, and plastic anchors. And lastly, we have a micro USB cable to charge the battery. Time to set this up. Open up the Wise app and click the plus sign on the upper left corner. Add device. Click cameras and choose Wise Video Doorbell Pro. Turn on the doorbell by pushing the power button on the back for 5 seconds until power on. Recommended placement is within 30 feet. Plug in your chime. Click next. Press and hold the reset button until Bluetooth is connected. Click next. Wait until the doorbell is paired and choose which Wi-Fi network you are going to connect to. Type in your password and click connect. Wait until it is connected and if you have your Wise account integrated with Amazon Alexa, then the doorbell will be automatically set up for Alexa. Now I'll be using this battery powered for most of my testing but I'll test it out wired in too later on and see the difference. And I'll be screwing this in. Time to install this. Screw in the wall plate using the two included screws. Align the doorbell on the tabs of the mount and slide it down to lock it in place. Tighten the security screw using the included Torx driver and it is installed. 
Let's check out the settings in the app. When you open it, it will show the snapshots of your cameras and devices. And the doorbell has a little square thumbnail. And when you click on it, it will not go directly to live view until you click it again. It does load up decently quick. In here, you can zoom in, listen in, or start to a talk, which is full duplex. Click on the three dots for more options, where you can take a snapshot, record the live view, on and off night vision, and there is the album that surprisingly goes to your phone's album and not on the camera's events tab. And at the bottom, there is a timeline of events, and pausing in an event will play it, but there's no preview or in scrubbing left or right will not give you the time-lapse effect like other brands. Click on the gear icon on the upper right and you will get to the camera settings. In here you have detection settings, which this doorbell only has sensitivity settings from low, medium, or high. No motion zones and no distance sensitivity settings like their other cameras. Then we have event recording. This is where you can set which events will be recorded. I just toggled person and package detection to on in here. So these are the only events that will be recorded. Now there is the recording cooldown because it is battery powered and you have from no cooldown which is good and up to 5 minutes if you want if you prioritize battery life than security. We also have maximum video length from 15 seconds to 3 minutes. We have notifications. In here you can select which events will give you notifications which have toggled AI events, which I should get notified when person and packages are detected and also and definitely when the doorbell is pressed. And we have advanced settings where you can change your night vision, power saving, timestamp, and other options. Now time to do some testing. But before that, I'll tell you this though. The audio from the footages is from the downloaded video from Wise's Cloud to my phone. I've mentioned this before. If you play the footage from the events tab, this is what the audio sounds like. The video and audio quality of the Wise Video Doorbell Pro. But if I download this clip to my phone and play it, this is what it sounds like. So this is the video and audio quality of the Wise Video Doorbell Pro. Way muffled audio. Wise hasn't fixed this yet, but this is the quality of the audio that you will hear in my testing. First will be video quality in daytime in battery power. So this is the video and audio quality of the Wise Video Doorbell Pro. And you can see 150 degrees till the view. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. Second, wired in. And you can see the difference in how early the camera records when it is wired in. So this is the video quality of the white video doorbell pro. And now this is wired or plugged in. So this is the video quality of the white video doorbell pro at night. No light and it's an auto and a night vision and I know that the internet LEDs, the six of them, are lit up. So this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the video quality of the white video doorbell pro at night. And this one, I have to turn off the night vision because if I set it to auto, it will still it will turn on the infrared LED. Anyways, I have my front porch lights turned on, and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell, and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. We are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Wise Video Doorbell Pro. And I ha I'm on my LTE connection and I have the Camp Plus subscription and also person and package detection only. So let's check it out. Yep, there is a delay. There you go. And when you click and hold, you will get a snapshot preview and when you click on it it should go to live view there you go all right 1236 let's check out the cool off uh, period of the wise cam video doorbell pro yep it's less than a minute cool off anyways but the notification is a bit delayed. Now let's test the doorbell push to notification speed. 
There you go. And it is only a tritone in iOS and not a doorbell chime. And it will say, someone is calling you. There you go. Loads up pretty good. Okay. Yes, uh, can I help you? Hello, is my pastor here? Uh, sorry, he's not here right now. Uh, you want to leave a message? Uh, sorry, he's not here right now. Uh, you want to leave a message? It's okay. I'll come back later. It's okay. I'll come back later. Okay. Thank you. Hello, is my pastor here? It's okay, I'll come back later. Alright, so we are going to test Porch Pirate testing. I'm going to pick up the package here and see if the doorbell will record me. There we go. Got a notification. Show me the Wise Doorbell Pro. Okay. Oh cool, it has a uh, two-way audio, I think, a hold to speak, cool. Stream Wise Doorbell Pro in Google Hub. Okay, streaming the Wise Doorbell Pro. Cool. But it doesn't have two-way talk. Overall, the Wise Video Doorbell Pro performed okay in my testing. It was pretty reliable in detecting motion and I haven't had any false notifications when I have only person and package detection turned on. And I like the field of view. And to all those who argued with me because I complained about the field view of the first and wired doorbell, this should have been the field view of that doorbell. Now you might complain about the fisheye effect, and honestly, to have this 150 degree ultra wide view, I really don't think you can avoid that. And I'll take this fisheye effect any day and be able to see more in my front porch than not seeing it at all. But there are a lot of improvements that need to be made to make this the pro version. First, the video quality. And it seems like WDR or wide dynamic range doesn't work or it has no effect. When I toggle it on or off, the bright background is still washed out. And it seems worse when it is cloudy. Frame rate is only 15 FPS in daytime and goes down to 10 FPS at night. And as I said earlier, the audio, both in recording and also the audio that's coming out from the doorbell speakers. A lot of static and feedback, especially in two-way talk. Also, the recording itself only has the doorbell side of the conversation. Now, another one, and this has been going on if you're subscribed to their Camp Plus subscription. The motion alert notification is delayed to about 15 seconds. Wise knows about this for a while now, but I'm not sure if they're working on it. This is pretty important, especially in a video doorbell. Also, doorbell push notification in the iPhone is only the generic tritone, which more than likely will miss answering your doorbell. Lack of motion detection settings is another one, no motion zones. When wired in, I like that the doorbell have the pre-recording feature aside from charging the battery, but I wish it can also ring your existing chime and have camera-based detection and zoning instead of the PIR sensor. Also features that could have made this better would be a siren and either a set quick of responses or an option for customized responses if you don't want to or cannot respond to your doorbell. If you want to check out other Wise products that I have reviewed, check it out here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.